Hey, what's going on there, guys? You've officially arrived at the 420 scene, and today we're gonna improve your yields literally by just watching this video. By watching this video, your plant's growth is just going to straight up skyrocket, okay? But first, show us some love and support by watching the entire video, dropping a like, subscribing, and tapping the post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, be sure to join our VIP Patreon program for one-on-one -on -one grow help tips, monthly giveaways, live streams, all that good stuff. Link will be in the description below. And also don't forget, if you wanna come and check out our grow, you just wanna chill with us, be sure to join us on our Discord. Link to that will be in the description below. Actually, it's gonna be in the pinned message. So today we're gonna to be talking about something that's gonna boost your yields like hardcore and it's something that Kyle Cushman, you know, the OG, the man himself, he always talks about it. Lollipopping, you know, it looks hella sketch, I know, but I've had some lollipopping done and I've had great results. This Mandarin Cookies run, I started with mainlining, then I got a little lazy when they pretty much just took over my entire closet. Listen, listen, sometimes we get a little lazy, sometimes <sighs> the life of a YouTuber, you know what I mean? So in case you don't know what lollipopping is, it's exactly the way it sounds. Pruning your plant so the energy gets redirected to the tops of your plants, your top colas pretty much. You would think lollipopping is considered to be high stress, but like, I feel like it's sort of not low key. Now, you're cutting off your side branching, and I guess because you're still chopping a part of your plant, it's considered to be a high stress training technique, but the reason I don't consider it to be like a super hardcore high stress training technique is because I've lollipopped a lot of plants, and if there was one training technique that involves cutting that hasn't given me any trouble, it's definitely gonna be lollipopping. It's not like when you're topping like crazy. It's not like when new growers get like totally scissors happy. I'm talking like Edward Scissorhand vibes right there. In a nutshell, it's really not that bad. Like lollipopping is something I would do right before getting into the flowering stage. And there's a few ways you can go about doing this. A lot of people do like lollipopping. Maybe like right before they get into the flowering stage, they're gonna start doing all the lollipopping work, all the scissor action, all the Edward Scissorhand stuff. You know what I'm saying? Saying, and then they would wait like two to three days just in case there's some kind of recovery that needs to be done and then they'll pop right into the flowering stage. See, I'm a little bit different though, like because I love mainlining my photos so much, I will always try to keep like three nodes and then like everything else. So like when I mainline, I pretty much cut everything except you know, like the two big top leaves, you know what I'm saying? And whatever growth that is on the very top. So everything else I pretty much stripped down. If you guys see my Discord, you guys already know what I'm talking about. And as my plants start growing, I like to slowly start cutting and cutting. I don't like to do it all in one shot. I feel like that's just super high stress, super sketch, super sus. It's like venting, bro. And hey, I gotta say it. I flipped into flowering after lollipopping. Not really an issue, but I still gotta say it because some genetics might be slower than others and might be a little bit more finicky than others. If you notice that you're not getting as explosive growth as you normally would get, then I would probably wait maybe like four or five nodes, not like after three nodes, you know what I'm saying? If your plants are super healthy, and I mean, your growth is absolutely explosive, then you can just keep the top three. But if you're kind of, uh, you're not feeling that growth really super hella strong, you know, then you might want to be like, oh, you know what, maybe I'm going to keep the top four, maybe the five nodes, and then cut everything down from there. Now, if you've ever seen like the really big flowers, you know, like even Google Images or a lot of the more advanced growers, guys like Canuck, me, CLTV, Cali Green, it's because we lollipop, okay? I mean, yeah, it's not gonna be the only thing that you gotta do to get killer good yields, but it's totally a huge part of it. And listen, all right, no hate on me. I deserve to get some credit too, okay? Like, I mean, the proof is in the pudding or on Discord, you could say. Also guys, if you haven't checked out our plants, follow us on Discord. Our flowers got like really big. Make sure you go to the 420 Steam Plants server so that way you can see all the day-to-day -day stuff that we've been going on, all the growth progress from the beginning. We did mainlining, so if you kind of need help with the mainlining, I think it's great if you can see my plants from day-to-day. -day. So what I did, you know, from the seedling stage to the early part of the veg stage when I mainlined and all the training techniques that I did from that point on. We did not lollipop the mandarin cookies this run. I don't want to hear any BS from, oh, you know, you didn't even lollipop this run. No, 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 we're not going there, all right? I'm sure everyone can agree that our plants generate energy from our lights, our water, nutrients, 
and obviously you gotta have a great overall environment. You know how I always say, environment is absolutely king. You know, the water, nutrients, all that stuff is good, but you gotta have that environment in there, you know what I mean? You gotta set that tone. Dialing in the right environment is the way to set that tone. If you don't trim up your plants, they're gonna look like Christmas trees. You already know this. I'm not, I'm not even gonna make it about this, all right? I just wanna make that little portion known just in case anybody just kind of strolled in here. This is your first video. But let's think about this a minute. Just take your plants, and I'm talking about the people that complain that they're not getting a big yield. Look at the bottoms of your plants. It's super important. And as a general rule of thumb, and I tried this because, you know, Kyle Cushman pretty much said to do this, and that's to keep the top three nodes like I mentioned earlier and remove everything else. Kyle Cushman, he actually had a word for the branches that just start randomly forming. I think Kyle Cushman, he had a phrase I don't even remember what it was I think they were just like I don't know it was like another word for useless branches or something that pretty much just stealing energy all you're doing is shifting your plants energy and directing it to what really matters your main flowers. I mean, that is what really matters, right? Lollipopping is that training technique that I'd recommend for intermediate growers, pretty much. Growers have LST and topping nailed down, but you're still a little too sketch, a little too sus on the whole super cropping. I try lollipopping out and just see how it does. Also guys, add silica. I gotta make that known right now. Make sure you're adding silica. I'm not gonna talk about silica because this is not a video for silica. I just wanted to make this known because it's something I forgot to do on this run and it's supposed to not only strengthen your cell walls, you know, making, you know, your branches super strong, but it's also going to increase nutrient uptake. So picture like widening a door or a tunnel. So I've been mentioning that because I just forgot to add my bulletproof SI this time around. So if you guys are also wondering what kind of silica products we like to use, I either like to use bulletproof SI or silica blaster by, I believe it's Botanicare. Anyway, lollipopping is straight up legit. Look up photos of plants with super big colas. Pay attention to the bottoms of the plants. You gotta notice that a lot of that bottom growth is pretty much gone. Now, if you're worried about cutting too much at one time, like I said before, you can always mainline your plant. You can do things the way I did. So like I've talked about mainlining in a lot of my videos and what you can do is always maintain those top three colas by just taking that bottom growth as your plants are growing so that way you're not going crazy all at once. You're just pretty much plucking off that growth as your plants are growing and it's a little stress at a time but I feel like that's going to be better than like all that stress all at once. You know what I'm saying? Especially if your plants aren't as healthy as you'd like them to be. That's, that's where it gets like super sketch. You want your plants to be super healthy if you're just gonna start trimming everything up all at once. One thing that I remember from Kyle Cushman is him saying to get rid of any branches that don't break at least 50% of the plant's height. Like literally everything that I've learned from growing aside from the hands-on experience for the last decade was from guys like Kyle Cushman, Jorge Cervantes, and the number one OG and my favorite YouTuber, Cali Green. Any grower YouTuber, Cali Green. Let's be real, my favorite YouTuber is Xcode. Trust me, those guys rock. Their methods are all on point. Like I've used a lot of their methods, a lot of the stuff that I've incorporated into my own grows. I've learned from Kyle Cushman. I've learned from Jorge Cervantes, Cali Green. Those guys are the real OGs, all right? One thing that I want to remind you guys is that lollipopping is not the same thing as defoliation. I know a lot of people, especially people people that just start growing and getting into the whole art of horticulture, get that completely mixed up because you're still cutting down a portion of your plant, but it's not the same thing. The point of defoliation is to create airflow around your plants. Like if you have a lot of leaves everywhere, it's a good way to get light into the middle areas of your plants that would otherwise be just straight up blocked out. I remember the first time I lollipopped, I feel like my growth got stunted. It was terrible, okay? Maybe it's because it was just when I first started growing, but when I would mainline and just take off the growth as the plants were growing, I feel like they just responded a lot better than just trimming up everything all at once. For me, by mainlining and just maintaining the top three nodes, I had a better result than as if I was doing everything else not mainlining. Like if I were to just let them go and then just chop everything right before the flowering stage, like right before I flip the switch. So if you guys are asking me which way I would recommend first, I would absolutely do it the mainlining. You 
you know, just a little bit at well, just a little bit at once. Some people like to just do it all at once, not me. I just feel like it's just too much high stress. But I think it also really depends on the overall health of the plants, the environmental conditions that you've been having. Like if you've been having a lot of deficiencies throughout your entire grow, I would not just start lollipopping off the bat like that. You know what I mean? Like the mandarin cookies run with the lemon tart, the agent orange, we barely had any kind of deficiencies. I think the only deficiency that you can even say that we had was low humidity, but that's because we didn't know that <laughs> the humidity in this house is gonna be like 15%, but we corrected that like right away. So I just wanted to come out with a lollipopping video because I feel like I haven't really talked about it nearly as much as I should. And I feel like that's one technique that is gonna really set the tone when it comes to your final yield. And it's so easy too, just trim up the bottom so you're redirecting your plant's energy to the top. I mean, it just makes sense, right? Obviously, some people are gonna agree with my methods, some people are gonna disagree, but like always, I don't really care one way or another. I'm just telling you guys what's worked out for me and my experience, you know, I don't really focus on what anyone else does. What, bro, 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 bro. Nah, bro, I ain't taking no calls, trying to do a video here. <sighs> Anyway guys, before I was so rudely interrupted, I feel like we covered a lot of stuff about lollipopping and like high stress training techniques. We covered the difference between lollipopping and defoliation. So I feel like we covered a lot of ground here. So before I close off today's video, I wanna thank everyone on screen who's been supporting us on Patreon. I really appreciate the love and support guys. So I'm gonna close out today's video. Be sure to drop a fat thumbs up, drop that fat like, and subscribe for more content. And I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, stay safe, peace.